Yeehaw! We have made it to uh, the sign. <laughs> it's um, Penyong Caravan Park. I hope I said the pronunciation well. Holy mackerel, there's a queue of people coming in. It's a busy, busy spot. <sighs> there's three people here all lined up and waiting. So yeah, we've got a great spot over there at the uh, caravan park. It's a lovely caravan park. It's very white. <laughs> it's like um, it's like sea sand or something that's been shipped in especially for the effect. Um, the neat thing about the caravan park in Penyon, if you do not know, it has an amazing display of windmills. So Jude's gonna fly the drone, you all right? She's behind me sorting that out. Well there you go, if you thought windmills were all just used for bringing water up from the ground uh, when this one here gets into my frame <laughs> that one there's a power generator used to power some of the homes around back in the uh, I think it's sort of 1930 Doozy A windmill behind me here apparently it's in that position that the blades actually fold so the blades are folded in a non-working position there and they can be folded to look like a fan on the windmill when they want to work it. As far as I could make out, there was actually not a lot of um, instructions on that one. That one there has got wheels on it so you could cart it around to your paddock that you need it. Portable. Yeah, some ingenious windmill displays here to be had. Awesome. There's the entrance to the caravan park just tucked away where the vehicle is there and uh, this is your, your drive-in entrance and uh, there's a nice bit of privacy in between vans, toilets and showers, laundry, all beautiful and that shed right in front of us that's your communal cooking shed so uh, it's well set up nice and shady. All right so we'll just uh, cross the road from the caravan park heading towards the, the Pignon Hotel we will go and get a wee bit of uh, liquid refreshments and dinner and hopefully dinner, yeah Woo. Honey, what a feed Oh, it's nice, very oh, nice I'm chockers Chockies Anyway, where were we? We're at Pignon Hotel having a feed a good feed That hotel was built way back in 1910 and I think the first owners of it operated it for 27 years and uh yeah they used to get the beer shipped down close to the coast there somewhere i can't remember the place exactly <laughs> and they would um yeah put it underground to keep it nice and cool um and yeah there was a an interesting uh chicken theft <laughs> i think it was a chicken yeah a couple of chickens or something they had there and it Weren't got stolen ducks? Or was it ducks it was ducks okay couple of ducks there yeah. and they put out I think back then a, a five pound reward for information leading to the recovery of the ducks but read a bit further and there was nothing there so yeah oh and they used to have barns or stables out the back so when people would pull up with their horses and everything they could go and tend to them out the back so yeah oh well 
I don't think we're going to get a really good sunset for our uh, our windmill shot, which no. I was hoping for. Oh well. Might be sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> After eating all this, I'm not getting up early. <laughs> <laughs> left um, our campsite early this morning, well we haven't with the vehicle, it's still there, but uh, we walk about, come down to see the windmills during a sunrise, we missed our sunset, it wasn't very uh, successful, but definitely the sunrise. There we go, the comet, and how fitting to see a plane <laughs> that looks like a comet streaking across the sky. Alrighty, we've crossed the, uh, the checkpoint. It was just down past the uh, the truck down there. Get rid of your fruit and vegetables. Got rid of my honey. Apparently you can keep honey. I didn't know that. Times I've come through before I've had to get rid of honey. So, oh well, there's only about a quarter of a container left. But well, I've been eating honey like crazy until I got here. Couldn't need to. Um, so the other place you, you stop at when you're going east Oyster Bar. I thought it'd be a bit early when we come across here, but uh, oh, with all the time changes and everything, it's nearly 11 o'clock, so yeah, it's oyster time. And there's a great little spot up on top of the Oyster Barn there where you can sit, enjoy the view, enjoy the sunshine, and uh, have your oysters. So, Jude's a bigger oyster lover than I am, but I will partake in one or two. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Seduna on our way, still got about another 300 odd k's to go, so only just touch the uh, surface. Here we are, Seduna, on the top of the, what do they call it, the oyster bar. There we go, the van's just parked there, you can see we're on the roof. Judy enjoying some oysters. Siren, siren for us, I don't know. We're in Kimber. Silo. So you might be thinking, holy moly, Kimber, what, what's the man doing? He's, he's whipping across Australia like nobody's business. Well, we've got a little chore that we've got to be doing in, um, in Adelaide and a few little bits and pieces. So yeah, we'll, we haven't missed anything. We'll go back and we'll catch it out a second time around. But uh, obviously you've got to stop at Kimber for uh, the wonderful Silo. 
halfway across Australia and um, apparently there's a pretty good um, RV park where we can stay at as well so we're gonna hopefully uh, there's a little bit more room left at the end we're on our way there now but just because the lights good Jude's getting a, a nice video of the silo sure because there's too much of my mug here and not enough of the silo Well, it's coming up to the afternoon, and you guessed it, we're halfway across Australia. The sign's here at Kimber. So, uh, a nice little town to come to. I'll show you the uh, RV park, it's just incredible. But it's quite the gateway to a lot of places, obviously, like Seduna and Smoky Bay and Streaky Bay, and what else are there? Shelly Beach, all that sort of stuff is not far away. So, uh, yeah, quite, quite the old. Uh, the old gravitational spot is oh these are the silos dude's got photos of those or drone shots of those the silos they're pretty awesome and uh not to forget where the halfway across australia sign is i, I keep being called the big galah yeah well here we go there's the galah right behind me that beauty is a big icon that was built oh let me just double check that i think it was built in 19 96 Ooh, lucky I checked it 1993 um, so the family that built it knew that if they built it the tourists will come and of course they did it's a gateway through here stop here grab a pie grab a souvenir and uh, get themselves a selfie with the big galah he's uh, I think it was over eight meters tall and uh, made with uh, wire and uh, fiberglass and steel he was, uh, oh, the shop was sold with him back in 2018. And apparently it's um, undergone a little bit of a refit there lately. He's got, um, he's got some Snapchat little app to him. So if you stand in certain parts, um, take your little Snapchat app, you can get him to crow and squawk and things. He's also been up updated with some real nice Aboriginal art and things on him too. So the big galah at Kimba. Look it out. Kimber style, an incredible RV park, so busy, a lot of people here but it's a fantastic facilities, there is a cook kitchen like you wouldn't believe but uh, we have our chicken, hamburger patties, egg, onion, salad and bits and pieces going on there. While Jude's catching up with her soapies. And as I pan around, we've got an awesome shower, toilet facilities there. And as I say, everybody beautifully packed in here nicely. All respecting each other. Well done, Kimber. Love your work. Just hunkered down here at the moment in the shelter of uh, the old trailer, the Sweet As RVing trailer, and uh, just staying away from the road noise. There's a little bit there at the moment, and uh, there's a little bit of wind noise as well. So uh, just let you know where we pulled up to. Well, <coughs> we're on Flinders Street, and we're going to go and have tea tonight at the Flinders Rest Hotel, and. Uh, that means somewhere in the distance over here, there they are behind me, the Flinders Ranges. So, uh, yeah, good little spot. You can see here, uh, there's one, two, three, four parking spots. So, uh, I mean, I could move up a little bit, but 
there's room here too for another couple of little vans they could move in behind us here so yeah see it's got quite a nice little cozy spot here that's been uh, set up here by the uh, the tavern there flinders rest hotel um menu looks good too we'll uh, fill you in into that a little bit later it's a little early yet the uh, restaurant doesn't open until six so uh, we're just hunkered down here um, really you know me i'm buggered after that driving i swore that i wasn't going to drive you know too far and uh, to think that we've just come from Pinyon to here, Pinyon <laughs> to here, and you yeah, done it too quick, especially when you go past all the all those little uh, um, what the air peninsula and things. But we'll do it again. We'll get into that area the second time around. At the moment, it's from here, Ad well, from there to Adelaide. Which we're done. We've got to get to Adelaide tomorrow. We don't. Well, I, I got a day up my sleeve. I had to do that. And um, yeah, spend some time in Adelaide. Already, hey, we're on the move. My belly's telling me something. I'm hungry, and we're just leaving our little, uh, little campsite over there, which is behind the Flinders Rest Hotel pub. And uh, yeah, you can hear the road. Should die down. Oh, look at this little church. Well, 1914, 1918, the memorial built 1901. What a doozy of an old church. Look at that. Oh, that's grand. <laughs> right next door to the pub. Alrighty. Hey, I just stepped outside. We're in the Finlers Rest. Finlers Rest Hotel. Um, yeah, the sign's behind me right there if you didn't understand my pronunciation. What an awesome beer garden out here. Really, really nice. They've got a, uh, a normal corner house fireplace in the corner. Not needed today. She's, she's lovely. I've got my wine shirt on today. Got half a, half a ute behind me. And um, beautiful slabs of timber on these uh, tables behind me. They are nice. I mean, that one looks like somebody's door off a house. Um, there's a bird cage here. Duncan at the door. He's got two bird cages. So if he wants to be out and socialize with people, there. So make sure you come in. He's an African parrot, beautiful parrot. Got a lovely sense of humor, but um, don't put your fingers in. Apparently he will eat them off. Uh, windmill reminds me of Pignon. That's kind of like one that wouldn't get resurrected. And then um, over here we've got um, lots of road signs, you know. We've travelled a lot of roads up until now. I think the van's up to 27,000 kilometres. Okay, we had delivery mileage and, and little teething problems, so I think that was about 7,000. So we're getting close, I think, to the 20,000 Ks around Australia so far. So a huge milestone. These road signs just boom they remind me so much of what we've been through so far i don't know about the big dipper that goes the other way but julia creek and i can't pronounce that one uh canna walker cannonini creek something like that might need a couple more ginger beers um and then there's another couple over in here uh barkley creek if you want to know that one dingo creek lots of dingoes around but uh crocodiles yeah, we've been through all those, so what a great spot at the Finless. I mean, you can count the number of houses from the road here. It's a busy road, and there's, the menu looks great, so we're going to tuck in and enjoy it. Obviously, there's not a live band here tonight, and all that sort of drama. Well, you can't win them all. Maybe I could offer to sing. No, not happening. Um, but no, great spot, and... Uh, just one little random thing that you look for on the old wiki camps or whatever. Just like, oops, that looks nice. Got free accommodation at the back. Come along here and patronize them. Patronize. Yeah, I think I've used the right one. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna wait for my, my tucker. You can tell by the, the look of the glow on my face that I'm Exceptionally very happy with that food from, I better go across the road and check this one out. But no, the glow on my face isn't from the food. 
it is from the amazing sunset that is starting to happen in that direction but there it is the Flinders Range or well, the Flinders Rest Hotel a good feed we'll keep going here you have to excuse the uh, traffic noise but there's that uh, beautiful church I'll get some uh, forward actually, before we get forward photos there's that lovely uh, sunset in the distance Another thing that's happening here since we've uh, left the uh, Flinder, Flinders Rest Hotel is how beautiful the ranges are looking right now with the, uh, the low sun setting on them showing all the little valleys and everything it's really quite pretty How good's that hun eh? Very nice Well I wasn't going to do a departing video pretty much said all I needed to say the last couple of couple of uh, excerpts but uh, in case Jude does stick this in <laughs> um, beautiful morning um, here at um, I hope I haven't said Warnerville too much and uh, Warner town and uh, yeah it's been a great little spot um, it was close to the road and there is a train that goes by I think maybe twice during the night but um, Hey, I've, I've slept near those train tracks before and I, it's nothing that I've already heard and uh, I'm a good sleeper. Dude wasn't too bad, but uh, beautiful. As soon as it's gone through, it was so quiet. Beautiful. Birds chirping. Uh, we've got the old galahs or the cockatoos or something up there. Um, and that beautiful shot of the, uh, the ranges and behind you for the morning. It's good. Great feed down over at the pub there. That was good last night. Um, a terrific pub. Nice little bit of history um, amongst it there. It's been around for a while, that one there. Um, great little town. So um, I'm going into the unknown again. Really, I haven't done anything since Port Augusta to here, so that was new for me. And from here all the way into Adelaide, it's going to be new for me. And fighting with traffic, which I haven't experienced for some time. Um, but look forward to getting into Adelaide. Um, got a, a, my water issues back again, so I've got to try and sort out my hot water and a couple of other little things I need some parts for. My door handle's um, just about broken on this. Um, and a couple of gas struts are failing on the, uh, the skylight so just get those things fixed and give this baby a good wash because it hasn't had a home wash since we left home it's had a couple of little uh, mop downs and things but I'm, I'm really uh, it's been neglected and uh, looking forward to giving it some TLC for its uh, next leg so uh, it's done well so we're off throw the slide in and uh, make our way into Adelaide and then you'll see some townie pics. <laughs> I'll see some townie pics. I haven't seen any town for a big town for a while, so I look forward to it. That's since perfect, actually. That's yeah. Anyway, until next stop. Bye. <laughs>